Hi everyone, Meredith Dale here, coming at you with another episode for our um, weekly workshops. So today we're going to be talking about how to bring leads into your business. And I'm going to go through um, a worksheet that I will make available for you either in our Facebook business group. You can find it there. And if you do a Facebook search, you can find us at I am you biz nation, or you can check in the description of this video. I'll put it there. And if you want to check out our brand new website, which we're really excited about, head over to goimu.com and you're going to be able to find this recording, the podcast, and the worksheet there. So welcome everybody. Today I'm going to get started, and today we're going to really focus on how you can continue to put people into the top of your sales funnel. So we understand that we can only make customers out of leads. And we know that our sales funnel only works if we continuously are putting new, fresh prospects, people, potential customers into the top of that funnel. So I'm going to teach you tips to help you find more leads. Now remember, your business is your own. What works for you will not work for all of your team members. What works for your competition is not going to work for you or for me. So at every step in our business, we must evaluate what works and what doesn't. Choose the methods that work best for you in terms of your available resources and what generates <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the largest audience for you. That's why I love this worksheet. At the very end, you're going to be able to write down your ideas, and then evaluate your ideas and your strategies every single week to see if they're working. So let's jump in to lead generation number one, which is obviously social networks. Now, social networks were invented to interact with friends and fans electronically. We know that, we get it. But if done right, social networking can be an amazing opportunity to find new leads. I recommend using the big six, which are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and YouTube. Always keep your eye out for new and upcoming social networks, but right now, these are the biggest ones that have the most people on them and the greatest chance of having your ideal customers on them. So here's how I suggest using a social network to find new leads. On Twitter, you can use their search function to find people asking questions in your industry that you can then answer as the expert. Inside of the worksheet that I've provided, I want you to write down some questions that you think people are asking in your industry. Go ahead and write that down. Now, go search for these questions on Twitter. What are your results? What did you find? Do you need to be rethinking your questions? If so, get a fresh worksheet out and rewrite down some new ones. Go search those out. Continue to do this until you find some really great topics that people are asking a lot of questions about, that you know a lot, of that, a lot about in your industry, and all you have to do from there is start answering those questions as the expert. People are going to naturally start coming and looking for inf more information on you because you've been so helpful. You can use hashtags on Google Plus to find relevant conversations and participate as well. So go ahead and start doing hashtag research. You can do hash hashtag research on Google Plus. You can also find relevant hashtags on Facebook and Instagram. Write them down. Make sure that you're going to those pages to see what people are talking about, if you can have any conversations with people in there. And the same principle applies. You go in and start um, answering questions and participating as the expert you are, and that's going to draw people towards you. A lot of the industry experts got started this way, um, and they've just kept at it for a long time. So you need to make this a lifestyle not just a one-week solution. On Pinterest, you can comment on pins. Now, we understand on Pinterest that you can repin multiple pins, 
but commenting isn't as common and it's really going to make you stand out. Now, you can look for online forums where your potential leads are asking questions inside of your industry. All you have to do is join and participate. All you, and all you have to do to find forums is a Google search. So let's say that I am in um, uh, medical, you know, I'm in, a, I'm in the medical industry, and I want to go and see what kind of medical forums are out there. I would literally get on Google and do a Google search for medical forums. Then take my pick of the best ones out there. So when you're, when you're completing all of these steps on social media, I want you to make sure that your social accounts, your own social accounts, your profiles, and um, any links that you post, that you have a capture page attached inside of your profiles. And this doesn't matter what social, me what social network you're using. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, <clears throat> they all have spots where you can put a capture page. And a capture page is as simple as giving something away, asking people to join your newsletter, um, ebooks, guides. You guys are really familiar with these. Let's go back to the medical one. There is a guy that I like a lot. I find a lot of good information on his website. His name is Dr. Axe. You've probably seen him. He's super popular right now. Been around for a long time, but just now is getting popular. So it's a, life, it's a lifestyle strategy when we do these things. But if you go to his website, you're going to see that he has a capture page pop up immediately. Um, these are called pop-ups. Everyone has seen them, but you can do them as well. So you can not have a pop-up appear on your social network site, but your capture page, the link up top, is going to act the same, the same way. So when you're on Dr. Axe's website, his pop-up appears, and it says something like, get your um, 10 steps to beat whatever. And he actually has a lot of them depending on what your Google search was for. So if you want his 10-step ebook, you just put in your email address and he sends it to you. This is exactly what you guys are going to do. So if you decide to do an ebook or free samples or um, a fitness evaluation or whatever you want, make sure you have a link on all of your social profiles that takes people to um, a place where they can put in their email and get their freebie from you. We teach a lot about this in IMU. So if this is a brand new concept to you, go ahead, get in touch with us. The easiest way is to visit us at goimu.com and uh, send us an email from any of our contact forms on there or join our Facebook group, which is IMU Biz Nation with a Z and um, ask your questions in there. We have tons of resources as well. So that is the way you take your social networking activities and make sure that they're going a second step. You don't want to be inside of all of these groups and forums and answering questions as the expert if someone comes to your page to look and get more information about you and you don't have a capture page, you don't have anything that you're giving to them, you have no way of talking to them um, after the fact, after they visit you, you're going to completely miss that lead. The only way you can make a person into a lead is if you get their information. So make sure all of your social network sites are functioning and that your capture page is on there and displayed clearly in your profiles. So when do you promote your products on social networks? We cannot forget the importance of participating in discussion, which is what we just talked about, but that does not mean that we should never promote our products. When you're promoting your products, share the same link at different times to track engagement. So see if your links are getting more clicks from potential leads in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening. Test to see if you get more or less interaction on weekdays versus weekends and vice versa. You're the expert in your business and your audience is going to be unique. So get to know the times when they're most receptive. When are your audience members clicking your links and making themselves leads? <clears throat> Lead generation number two, 
blogs and websites. Having your own website is a great form of content marketing and content marketing is amazing for lead generation. What is content? That's a great question and we get it often even though it feels very intuitive to say me who writes a lot of content, I understand not everyone understands what it is. So content is you talking about what you know. This video right now is content. An infographic I make, content. Um, a blog post I write about the easiest way to do a fitness evaluation, content. Anything that could be searchable on Google is content. So that's why you need to have a blog or a website or somewhere that you can put news and information about your products. But think of it also as a lead generator because on your blog or your website, you can have a pop-up, like the story I just told you about Dr. Axe. You can put that link to your website on all of your social channels. So when you're answering as the expert inside of those groups that you researched, and people want to come and find out more information about you, your website is clearly there in your profile and they can come and, and spend more time on your site. But don't lose them when they get to your site. Make sure that it's filled with calls to action. Do you want them to do something further? Buy a product. This is the exact right time to tell them to buy the product and offer them lots of products. Offer them multiple ways to get in touch with you to watch videos, to listen to your podcast. All of this is turning audience members into leads, someone you can talk to as often as you need to in order to turn them into a customer. So how do we use blogging for lead generation um, further than what I just explained to you? You need to have that way to collect information. Encourage people to sign up for your email newsletter. Otherwise, people are going to read your posts and never come back, meaning that you can't contact them and move them down the sales funnel. So you're doing all this work to put them in the top of the funnel, but if they come to a secondary site and there's nowhere else for them to go or to contact you or for you to contact them further, you're not moving them through the sales funnel. Um, I just suggested the pop-up feature. Go ahead and give that a try. This is an amazing way to give something. It's an amazing way to give away something for free in exchange for an email lead. You know, Dr. X, really super popular right now, but he's been collecting emails for years. This is why he's become popular, because he's got a great product. He was collecting enough emails over the years to have an audience to talk to, lots of leads. When those leads turned into his customers and he provided excellent service and products to them, their word of mouth has just boomed his business, right? Them searching for him online, search traffic. Them sharing his posts on social media, social media traffic. This is why you want to always be collecting um, lead information. Always focus on who you're targeting when you're writing posts or giving away free information. You want to maximize your time and effort to writing only to those people who want to buy what you're selling. It's great to let people know what your interests are, like I love running, but make sure your posts always tie back to product promotion in one way or another. Lead generation number three, offer items for free. One of the absolute best ways to generate leads is to give away something awesome for free. But the only catch? That's right. You need to know where to send that awesome freebie. So simply ask the person to provide their email address or other contact information. This even works if you are not interested in providing them with a digital freebie. So you don't want to do an ebook. You don't want to do an e-guide. You're sick of, you know, checklists and infographics. Say you want to send out samples, physical samples. Wonderful. All you have to do is get their email address and their physical address so that you can send them more information and actually send them the sample. Um, 
what you would do then, how I would suggest you use it from there, you would need to go digital at some point, unless you want to do old school mailers, which are fine with their, um, with their physical address. But if you want to take their email and start sending out a weekly newsletter, this is how you can talk to people further. You're going to be blown away at the amount of lead generation with a free item. Giving away freebies is the easy is the easiest when you have a social media capture page, link, or website pop up. What we just talked about in step number two. But always remember to use capture pages on every single post you write, on every single social media post you write, and blog post you write. Um, capture pages are also called landing pages, so don't get confused with that. And here's one way that Dr. Axe uses when he collects emails. So a long time ago, I gave him an email because I wanted to get his freebie. Um, it was a 10 step guide to something that I was searching for and I wanted his 10 steps um, on how to, to, you know, take care of what I was searching for. Um, what he did and the easiest way that you can turn your whole business into autopilot uh, and this isn't anything new, but it might be new for you if you're watching this video. Have a pre-written, pre-set series of emails ready to go when your email lead comes through. This was true for another woman that I was um, researching. Dr. Axe and her both had answers to the exact same problem, and so I wanted to see what both of them had to say. So I gave them both my email, and both of them followed up with me through a series of emails. Hers was eight, his was only three, um, and in them they let me know who they are, they gave me the solution, to my problem um, and then they followed up down the line with talking about their products and talking about how I could actually purchase something um, to continue my journey for solving my problem so that's how you want to use an email um, an email series when someone gives you their lead you need to have this ready to go once you start collecting emails from social media and from your website because if you're collecting emails and leads and you're not doing anything with them I think you get it that you're losing everybody there's no reason to I am gonna venture out and say there's even no reason to be in business if you're doing all this work on social media and you're not collecting information from anybody why are you even in business? It'd be like me opening a brick and mortar business and advertising for it and talking about it all to the news media outlets. And then when people come into my store, I'm not there. The door is open, but I'm not there and there's no products. It doesn't make any sense. So you have to be ready to promote your products um, and give calls to action in one way or another. Now, some are going to work better than others for you. So that's why I said at the very beginning of this, what works for Dr. Axe and this other woman, you know, she had eight. You're probably not going to want to do an eight email series on your first go round, but maybe two would work well and a weekly newsletter um, or just a series of three emails, whatever works for you. And here are the best methods of lead nurturing that I have put together for you right now. So we've got, We've got all of our, our options going on social media and our website. Now we're finding the leads. They've given us, you know, their information. And now we need to nurture that lead in order to make them become customers, right? We're putting them in the top, then they're a lead, then we're moving down the sales funnel, and now they're ready to become customers because we've nurtured them with these steps. Number one, you want to make your lead feel special. No one likes to be just a number. Number two, respond to questions quickly. This is on social media, your blog, or email. When someone asks for more information, they want that answer now or in a relative you know, quick amount of time so that they can make a decision. Carve out time in your day to answer all questions on your social media channels because people give up after one day these days. <laughs> Communicate often emails, videos, once a week, 
they know that they can see you and you're on and you're there for them. We move very, very fast. You're aware of this. You have to stay in the forefront of people's minds. Incentivize. Give away bonuses, free gifts, if they make a purchase today. Always lead with value and help. Become that expert in your industry, and then you will be seen as an authority. That way, your recommendations mean more. Do research. Everything I talked about up top, hashtag research. Know the recommendation that is right for each niche. If you're promoting a product that your audience cannot afford, you're wasting time. And similarly, I want to talk about this. Similarly, if you are promoting a product to a niche that feels like it is underpriced, they're willing to spend much more on it, guess what? This is really interesting. That audience will go and find a product that is priced more because they've, they, in their minds, this type of niche audience sees higher priced products as having more value, as being better quality. So it's, being, it's really important to understand what you're recommending for each niche and make sure you hit it on the target. That's, a, that's like number one for lead nurturing. So as you're all aware, we talk in depth a lot about lead generation at Intentional Marketer University, IMU. And while what I just gave you is not a comprehensive list of how to generate leads for your sales funnel, it is imperative that you start putting these in place today. Now, I've talked a lot about the worksheet that I was working from just now. I want you to head over to goinu.com and look in our blog, and this is gonna be one of the first posts. This video and the worksheet is gonna be right there. You can download it there. You can also head over to our Facebook group, IMU Biz Nation, do a search, join our group, and you can be able to jump on our weekly live workshops, and you can get the worksheet there. And if you're watching this on YouTube or in the podcast or wherever else, there's going to be a link for it in the description. That's how important I think it is that you need to be working from some sort of some sort of a guide. You need to be writing down your ideas and seeing what works and doesn't work. Because if you just try and keep it all in your head all the time, something is going to get lost. So make sure that you have it written down that you go somewhere secondary and look through this material. Um, that's it for today. So every Wednesday I'm here. You guys, uh, you guys have it in you. And even if it feels like what you're doing just does not matter, no one's paying attention, remember that Dr. Axe, with his cute little name, Dr. Axe, <laughs> um, that at one time, too, he felt like he was just a tiny fish in a very big sea. Um, I encourage you to just keep going. Visit us um, over at Intentional Marketer University. We're here for you, and I personally would love to help you on your business journey. So have a wonderful day. I will talk to you again soon. Um, next week at the latest, if not sooner. Bye-bye.